So, um, last few days were pretty tough. Now they got uh, the money and I got a room tonight as well. Um, they won't have, didn't have one last night, didn't have one the night before. They'll have one tonight. So I'm feeling normal, I have money in the bank, and I have, uh, uh, what's it, um, a, a roof over my head tonight. So I'm feeling normal again. So, But it's going to go back to a point where, where at one point, I'm not going to have any money again. I, how, how this money lasts, this, they believe this money is going to last me for, for a month. Um, to be honest. Um, but it is what it is. Now, talking about the song that, that was on, that I had on, um, I, want, I want to confirm, I want to reaffirm that, that uh, the human being and the human soul has a symbiotic relationship with, uh, with plants, meaning that they, you know, you help the plant and the plant helps you. It's a symbiotic relationship with plant life. You know, you consume it, you, you, it, it, it does something for you, it provides oxygen for you to breathe. We help it. Um, we provide, provide. I think it's carbon, something monoxide, one one of those carbons, for it to to, to breathe, breathe in. To, to, so it's a symbiotic relationship. We, we take care of them. We, we, you know, as part of our because we have arms and have legs, and you know, we we, we, we you know, we're able to pick plants up, plant in places, take care of them, water them, whatever whatever needs to be needs to happen. So symbiotic relationship with, with, with the plant. Uh, kingdom. So, so it's also the animal kingdom, but, but more so the plant kingdom because the plants um, also contain um, psychoactive substances. Um, some of them. Um, I, I remember um, Terence McKenna in Food of the Gods mentioned how like it was it was a catalyst in human evolution because um, the hunters and gatherers, the hunters going out to hunt and the gatherers would gather uh, food, you know, um, stuff that was growing that they were able to eat. And the psilocybin mushroom at one point was introduced to to to, um, to certain cultures, and and then it, it became uh, a reason for them to be able to make sharper tools and and better arrows to hunt with, and and you know better ways to you know instead of hunting, let's 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 get you know, food out of the water, uh, you know. So that's why the coastal areas um, had a um, a higher evolutionary process, a higher a faster evolutionary process than some of the some of the middle parts where there, there was no and there was no psilocybin there was no um, um, things that um, psychoactive substances that helped them uh, to understand more about what, what they are and and how they were able to survive better so that is um, that is you know that has been cast away because of, of the illegality of, of, of these um, psychoactive substances by mostly alcoholics that, that uh, thought, think that alcohol is fine but, but everything else that Mother Earth produces uh, is not <laughs> for your children. So that, that, is, that is the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes we make as human beings because, uh, well you make as human beings because you, you look at something that, was, that has some potential to, to heal and some potential to, to help, um, you know, something that the human being is going through. Um, yet, because it is illegal, you and and you know, there's you know horror stories about them. You know, like, well, you know the 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 my friend. You know, he had, he had a bad trip and he ended up in the hospital for months. Well, your friend that was that had a bad trip, right? That ended up in the hospital. Uh, that trip. Um, most likely it was it became bad not because of the substance because the people around him did not know how to like uh, like you know uh, walk him through things and, and and help him instead they made fun of him and and you know and and you know f you know fuck with him uh, which which then which then creates a you know you're you're open you're able you're able to, to see more things and you you know you 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 know you're, you're doing this 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 you know inner exploration this 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 you know uh, uh, consciousness uh, expanding awareness uh, uh, um, you know, uh, compound within whatever you're taking, and all of a sudden there's people here like, yeah, yeah, fuck you, man, you, 
Yeah, you enjoy, yeah, 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 and, and put you down. And then all of a sudden, that, that, trip, that trip becomes a bad trip. That's why mindset and setting this thing is, is, is important when you're doing any, any type of uh, plant medicine, um, psychoactive. So, of course, the person then doesn't know what's going on. She thinks stuff comes up uh, that needs to be worked out. And I mentioned that, that, that when you have a bad trip, right, the thing that the spirit within the plant medicine is trying to teach you that has to be looked at, and that's why it's coming up. If you don't know that, and you don't know how to guide yourself, or someone around you isn't helping you guide you through that, then uh, it becomes a bad trip, because you don't know what, what to do with this information. He said if you did, you'd work it out, because my, my thing is that whatever thing, whatever comes up within a trip, right? whatever comes up within a trip, right? um, or uh, you know, a, um, a session, um, if you can work it out within that session, with that trip, um, then you can deal with the outside world and deal with the things you have to deal with under normal conditions better. So it's, a, it's kind of a guiding way, uh, a, a training for you to for, for deal with stuff that comes up. Yeah. Very important concept that people forget and put aside for, for its illegality of it and its, and its you know, uh, um, uh, um, you see, judgment of it. You know, how dare you, you're doing that, that, that thing again. Yeah. And of course, then it puts it into the criminal uh, element, or just the people that want to make money off of it, you know. You know tax it, um, make big money on it, you know. Um, not have to work around the private, just you know, sell this, you know. I got this, I got this. I got this and I got this, you know. And I'm selling it. You know. Plant medicine was never supposed to be sold. It was supposed to be, a shaman was supposed to be able to, to talk to the spirit world and then gather it and then, and then introduce it to the tribe. Uh, in our system of, of making it illegal, um, it's become uh, a money maker for both the, the court system and the criminal element. Yeah. Um, and that's the biggest problem with all these things not being decriminalized that they are in Portugal. Because, because if, they're not, if, it, if they're still... still they're still kept illegal, then the, 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 the court system is still getting paid, the jails are still getting paid, um, you know, um, the human beings are still suffering in those cages, and, and um, the judgment is, is, is still there. None of that exists anymore in, in Portugal since they, since they decriminalized every, every, uh, every, you know. And then instead of, instead of like accusing and blaming and making them shame, feel shameful and, and guilty, uh, now, now it's they're just you know they're taking care of it. They need help. If not, you know, do it. As long as you don't hurt anybody, what the fuck is your problem? Why are you throwing human being, beings in cages if you they're not hurting anybody? The dealers are, are are selling and they're selling crap sometimes because they want to make money off of it. Make it legal, then that won't be an issue. It'll be it'll be regulated by by people that really want to provide it to people. Um, you know, uh, as as a means. You know, um, you know, you know, you, a shaman. That 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 got that gathers information from from the spirit world and then produces this this compound or gets finds this compound and gives it to the tribe. That that, that person shouldn't be thrown into jail, um, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, there was no money to be made. You know, there was no there was no profit on that on that. It was just an exchange of information uh, from the spirit world to the shaman, to the tribe, uh, and the gratification that the shaman received. Uh, from being part of this, um, you know, this this human consciousness that that, that that helps, you know, you know, the spirit world wants to help us if we want to receive that help. The shaman wants to help the tribe because if they want to receive that help, because that is its purpose, that is his his or her purpose. You know. That all that is overlooked when they stay illegal. And like I said, the court system profits from it. Uh, the people that are selling it profit for a while until they, until they end up in jail, and then, and then, then the jail system profits from it. So, that's the um, you know that's the sad part of um, his existence and how how you know these things that were in one way. Uh, at, one, at one point in our, in our evolution process, were, were considered vital 
in 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 the evolutionary process. I'm telling you that because psilocybin mushrooms were introduced to to as a in a food source to certain to certain parts of certain cultures in certain um, certain parts of the country or the world, Mother Earth, um, th those people benefited from them by accelerating their evolutionary process, giving them a better idea and understanding what they were, their purpose, and, uh, and how, to, how to create the things that they need. Yeah. So somebody, I, I got that, I mean, you know, some of the best songs that were ever written and some of the best music that you guys praise were written under these conditions, using psychoactive substances to release stuff that that and you know and to understand what what needed to be produced to create to 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 to, to have this creativity that you have and and put it in a place where it, it, you know um, it could it could uh, touch a, a large amount of people um, across this whole world. Um, yet you still judge the ones that don't do that. But, but the ones that don't do that is because they haven't been taught to. They've been taught to sit in a desk or do this or do that. And there you need the, 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 the straight, you know, very clear person that has no, no substances in their, in their, in their body. And they're just, yeah, they make the best workers. The best workers, especially if they drink alcohol. Because then they can, Friday they can start drinking. And then they forget about everything by Sunday. They have to go back in that same, that same environment by Monday. That's that whole... That whole thing is is um, is what the corporate world and, and they want. That's why alcohol is, is praised as you know. Oh, look at this bottle of champagne that's cost you know two thousand uh, dollars. While the same psychoactive substance um, side of it that that maybe is costly because it's very unique and, and and but but it's costly because there's a profit to be made on it, just like alcohol. Yeah, this one is. Is encouraged and say, "Oh yes, have a drink after work. One, one, one drink, a, a, a glass of wine a day helps the doctor stay away. You know, keeps your heart nice and uh, thins your blood. It's alcohol, thins your blood, doesn't do anything for the, for the, what, what's, what's going on in your body. And on the other side of it is that uh, those things are. My first ayahuasca experience, I had keratoconus. With the uh, ten years before that, bulging of the cornea, I had to wear hard contacts pushed into my oh, hard contacts that caused eye, eye ulcers, uh, corneal ulcers, uh, infections in my eye, bleeding, bloodshot, painful eyes every night when I took those things out. It pop, dry up and pop out of my eyes. Very expensive to to maintain. Seven years I wore those things. My first ayahuasca experience, the spirits within the the, the the ayahuasca um, plant um, showed me how to retrain my eyes so I no longer see the condition, which is keratoconus, is where you see a light source and you see a bow, like a, a streaking of lights from that light source. Like if I look at the moon, I don't just see the moon, but then I see multiple versions of the moon all around, so the lighter, and then streaks of light. So that was very scary driving at night and, you know, seeing headlights and, and, and traffic lights and, and you know, um, um, streaking light and not seeing people walking in front of me. Those contacts were, 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 were modern man's solution to a problem where the spirit world showed me how to retrain my eyes to be able to pull back from that condition and see exactly what I need to see. And then when, when, when I was done, have the condition. Because the condition's there. And you know what? That condition, that streaking, if I, if I stare into certain parts of it, I, I could see into other dimensions. So that streaking is, is actually you know allowing me to, to, to glimpse into other dimensions and understand them more. Um, well... Um, I no longer I have since that day, which was 15 years ago. I never wore contacts again. I never had to put pieces of glasses, piece of glass in my eye, and then cause major pain and infection in my eye because of that. That's what it did to me. That's what it can do for anyone. Um, but the fear of, of of things coming up and not being able to deal with it. Is the majority of the reason. Plus, it's a, it's it, it's it's illegal. Uh, those two things are, are what's stopping. Um, I guess the evolutionary process of, of the current state of your, your civilization. I guess, yeah. Um, so, um, I have a very high regard uh, for the psychedelic and the. Um, 
consciousness expanding um, substances that exist within the planet kingdom that were there to help humanity evolve. So next time one of you out there points the finger at me and said, calls me a drug addict, well, fuck you. You're a fucking money addict, you're a coffee addict, you're a food addict, and you're anything else that you, that you, 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 that you put into your system that, that, that society says is wrong. Oh, he shouldn't be doing this and doing this. Are they hurting anybody? Oh, we're just preventing you because they everybody that does it is gonna is gonna be in your heart. No, not anybody that does it. People are pushed into that by our society that has no idea how much more advanced tribal cultures there were than than your modern day slave system. Next time you point that finger, buddy, you can take that finger and stick it where the sun don't shine and will never shine. Never shine. Namaste.